Here we are. Okay. We're on television. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to this meeting of the All Kings Highway Historic District Committee for the town of Yarmouth, in which said we're, we're doing this in accordance with Chapter 470 of the Acts of 1973, as amended at 7.15 p.m. on Monday, September 12th, 2022, at the Yarmouth Town Hall Hearing Room, located at 1146 Route 28 in South Yarmouth. Moreover, pursuant Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, considering certain COVID-19 measures, this meeting is being run in a hybrid mode. There are nine new applications for certificate of appropriateness that will be heard this evening in the order listed on the agenda. Please be reminded that our committee's main purpose is to review items for appropriateness and setting, and it's the responsibility of the applicant to comply with the regulations of other town boards and departments, including building, conservation, engineering, health, zoning, and the sign inspector. You should also know that there is a 10 calendar day appeal period starting once a decision is filed with the town clerk. Any person aggrieved by our decision tonight can appeal to the Regional Commission of the Old Kings Highway. Our office administrator will be happy to answer any questions with respect to that process. So, first item on the agenda this evening is to add a mudroom and a walk-in closet, one on each end of the house at 15 Mallard Street. David Eaton is the owner. And is David here? You could. These microphones uh, yeah, it's on. are on. Yep. Yeah, they have a I think battery operated. So, it, hi, David. Hi. So it says that all existing, um, all exterior to be added will match existing home. So, um, meaning paint, trim, windows. Yes, everything. So C white, C white C trim side. and the, the standard cage, cedar, shingles. cedar shingles, correct. Right. That's good. And that's the only um, exterior change because the closet's inside. Uh, well, if you look on the back side, mm -hmm. the um, uh, image or page um, A6. Mm -hmm. there, you'll see on the back side, there's an existing bathroom that kind of jots out of the house. Mm -hmm. So we're just adding the closet to square it off. Right. So that's that's another exterior piece. Oh, okay, yeah. But, so but that's we'll, it. But but yeah, yeah, it'll finish it off. It'll finish it off exactly. Gotcha. So that there's no windows in the closet. It'll just be. Will that be insulated? Here. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's easy with the roof too. It'll it's going to match completely across yeah. the same shingles. Uh, we're we're trying to make it look like it was built with the house and yeah. not an addition. Right. Okay, no problem. A motion. I make a move to approve 22-AO95, uh, adding a mudroom and a walk-in closet. I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So you have to make out some paperwork here and there's one thing for you to do. Um, this is a document just says you're going to build it according to plan. If you can make any changes, let us know in advance. You just have to sign something. You sign here and I'll sign there. Thanks. 
Well, you'll get copies of everything in a couple of days. Good. Didn't fall asleep. Okay. The next item is concerned with doing a lot. <laughs> this house, 65 Avon Road. House is owned by James and Carlene Kubat. And um, Mazio Construction is the agent. We have Mazio Construction. I am with, yes, Mazio Construction. My name is Tavis Babbitt from East Ham, Massachusetts. Uh -huh. We won't hold it against you. All right. I appreciate that. So, I do have some plans to share. If, uh, I can. Yeah, we have gone over. Yeah, you probably have a lot of notes, but not actual architectural plans. Um, well, we have pictures, but they right. don't uh, they don't really show the orientation right. of the completed. Yeah, I have proposed. Anything. Do you have pictures? And I do have a picture, but mostly it's uh, elevation. You, you can pass around plans. plans. Yeah, sure. And the and the, I don't have the actual color chips, so I'm curious about the actual Newbury Port Blue. Thank you, sir. It's kind of a dark blue. <laughs> you know, the, this house was actually built in 1970, which is before we came into existence, which was 1973. So if it was being built in 73 or four, it would have looked a lot different. <laughs> that is probably true. <laughs> this is a much more contemporary design. Yeah, it's a mid-century contemporary, very uh, different than a lot of the ones in the neighborhood, as you what can this imagine. design is contemporary? <laughs> yeah. It's 1970. It <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> Those long sloping roofs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I love the description. You're replacing the crumbling roof. <laughs> There's a number of items. And that, the disintegrating yes, side. As the pictures will show, yes, there are a number of items that <laughs> need repair. And so at the same time, we'd like to make them uh, improvements, obviously. The question I had, um, the center section, which has these. The very rustic, rustic shingles. shingles. Yes. That stays the same. It will stay the same. Yes. You're gonna paint them to. They will be painted to, match to sides. be a slightly shade darker than the actual siding that will be on either side of it, but very similar right. in color. Yeah. Yeah. The hardy plank is a, a nice gray. Hardy plank on either side. Yes. Right. Yeah. And those will be a seven-inch exposure as it is now. Um, the siding. So as you can see, the garage is door is in rough shape, but also the framing behind it has a rot. So we would like to, we have to reframe that wall anyway. And so we'd like to remove the door and add a, uh, an art studio, art studio. She Basement does, windows. Yeah, she does artwork there, so. Well, I do think that the movie crew that was coming down to shoot the next version of uh, a 60s movie is gonna be very disappointed, but. <laughs> Maybe so. 
yeah, maybe I doubt they'd be picking this area for many of those shoots. <laughs> But the upgrades are in line with what we have. Uh, the door is very much in line with the same style. So uh, the owners do like that look. So we want to maintain that. So you're going to enclose the patio. We'd like to close the carport there that's open right now. Carport. Yep. Um, just with screens, very uh, simple. Little amount of additional framing, just the, enough to frame the open for the screen. And it'll wrap around the side. Correct. A4 shows. Are there any abutters present who might want to comment on the proposed? Design. I don't see any problem. You see a problem, Richard? No. If um well, I think it'll be um an improvement. We hope so. <laughs> you certainly hope so. Uh, the main reason I asked about the shingles in the center section was if you're going to keep them. Uh, of course, it, it could help the appearance, I think. You know, it, it has those kind of truncated sides on it. The Gambrel kind of look. Yeah, which originally probably was trying to give you an A-frame sort of appearance with wings on the sides of the A-frame. Yep. Yep. Um, like... But actually, if they were vertical, it would give them a, a more historic appearance. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can ever bring this back into a historic look. You can do anything to the steps there, the front steps. I don't believe so at this point, they seem to be in good shape. Uh, so I don't think we're gonna be altering those. They are precast concrete, I believe, and they haven't settled much. So I think we'll be keeping those for them. Yeah, that's kind of the main entrance to the house. Yeah. Unless you'll be always parking in front and walking to that door. Yep, that is, that is the main entry point. So eventually you might want to enlarge it a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so there's more room when you once you open the door up. It's tight, yeah. It's, it's, it's a tight, tight connection there, in there. For sure. Yep. And perhaps we'll be coming back at another point after they've been there a few years and <laughs> right. sick of pumping in. Yeah, and they might want a handrail at least. Yes, uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. It's it is three rises. Um, so does probably qualify for a That's handrail. kind of marginal. And those can be added into the concrete as well. We can mm -hmm. tap into that. What kind of art are we doing? Myself, I'm an abstract painter. Abstract painter, awesome. So I think they'll want to keep the, <laughs> the look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful mid century modern. Pardon? All right, I hear you. I move to approve. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That'll be a million dollars. Yeah, from the, the movie. That'll be a billion dollars. Oh, that's right. I can't remember much more. Do I need to sign anything? Yes. One page to sign. But, um, if anything, if you change any of your plans, that you let us know. So that's oh, no. that's all that does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, no problem. Yeah. <sighs> 
is a challenge because mm -hmm. it's unique. Well, certainly to this area. Yeah. I know you're done. But you, the, uh, the front will be in keeping with the abstract thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, love. Welcome. Have a good night. The next item is concerned with increasing the size of the deck from 5'5 five five to 8 by 10 at 29 Pine Street. Dimitri Lako. Hi. Good. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, how are you? Good. So there's no picture of the finished product. I can't get, I can't, I have to finish. I got to get it approved before I start the work to finish it. So there's no, it's just, it's, sim, it's, it's going to be exactly the same. It's just going to be a little bit bigger and it's going to be new. In the back of the house. Okay. But the picture that we have, is that the front door? The front door. Okay. So it, that's not what you're changing. In the back. I'm just changing the deck in front of the door. You see the deck the in front, front door. Just the deck is going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Uh -huh. and a little push so this forward. is five. You're making a ten, and you're going to make it broader. Correct. So it's going to be half again on either side, almost going to each window. Going to each window, the end of each window. Right. That's it. There's tick marks on the window. All right. So it's not so much a deck as it is a front entrance. Front okay. entrance yeah. We're looking for a deck coming off the back. Yeah, no, you know? no, no, no. <laughs> okay, fine. No, just trying to make the front look a little bit more appealing. Oh, okay. But on the pick on the on the plan, yeah. Um, the driveway is in front of the house. Yep. That's and there's a that, little deck. That's what that is. The, the that's what you have on the because the existing deck in the back. <clears throat> I got it. Okay. Yeah. So it's just the front. All right. Simple. <laughs> yeah. I move very pro. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Do you have to sign something? Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, that was easy. Everybody loves Lisa. <laughs> Everybody loves Lisa. <laughs> yeah, yeah so you can sign here. There you go. Uh, yeah, of the day. Thank you. Have a good evening, folks. You too. Thank you too.
The next item is concerned with a fence at 37 Union Street. Roger Crochet. Yeah. Hi. So is it Roger? Roger. Roger. Is the fence going to actually cut through your property? driveway just just through the driveway yeah, just through the driveway okay and there's a gate there's not a gate no um, because of a separate driveway can you can you put on this plot map where the fence is i got confused yeah it is very confusing you know like where is that on there i don't blame you so here's union street Oh. Oh. oh, goodness, it's a tiny little fence. It's from right. Check, make sure I'm doing, I'm telling right, Roger. It's from here to here. Yeah. Okay. Is that the one that's coming out from the house? Yeah. Well, what about this big long thing here? What is this? <laughs> is that here? Is that existing? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see that today when I drove by. Well, I guess it's yeah. back behind. It's, yeah. There are some evergreens in the front. Okay. Wait, we see didn't, I couldn't thing? figure it out. Cause yeah, it's this is mostly the, existing. This is the problem. You see, you're talking about this is fence across the property okay. this way. Okay. Right. Got and color. The one that you got is here. This is the other house. This is, there is a third house over here. Well, this is Union Street here. Yeah. The same with this. And there is a fence along here. This, this picture. Here. This is this house. That's your house. Is this? And this fence is all along here. And at one time, four or five years ago, they wanted to put a fence up here. And, yeah, on the, on the and it had a gate. Okay. <clears throat> and I think we approved that and it was supposed to taper down, which it doesn't. The present one is six foot all the way. And it was supposed to taper down to four foot. Now, the request that, as I read this, is that you wanted to put a fence across here. Yeah, but I don't think that's what he means. Uh, I don't know where that where I should put Is one. there a way you can show us where the fence is on here? The other thing so is- Where you want to put the fence on here? No, it's here. How do you? Yeah, but where do you want to add? So uh, basically, um, so when I did this fence, yeah. I didn't realize that, um, Oh. I should have came here okay, first. so you're trying to so, retroactively get from there. went further down. Um, it's just original. originally. Yeah, uh, we got phone calls about this yeah, fence because it fence, went practically down to the road. It went right to the same part of the, it 
video over here. Or since we came to the same place. I mean, um, what happened, I did put off uh, a lot of the panels because then I realized that because it's the property has some trees, mm -hmm. I didn't really need the fence all the way down there. Mm -hmm. so we wouldn't just, allow it anyway. Here, are there any abutters here There's tonight? Question I have. Where do you park? Yeah, so um, you're there. So you're the I mean, driveway you, on the other side of the fence. On this side, you the driveway. Well, see this. This is this is supposed to be the driveway is here. Yeah. Everybody comes in here. And you can go to this house or you can go to this house and what? this. It used to be that the cars would all come in here for these three houses. This one went some other way. Oh, okay. well, um, but these three houses had this one driveway. Now, if you put a fence here, there's no yeah. way to get into this yeah, house. In front of this house right here, no. You come in this way? Yes. From where? Over here? No, from off, you, off Union Street. So I came in, I'm coming from off Union Street. You want to draw it, Roger? Roger? So basically, this is Union Street, right? Yeah. Yeah. The driveway is here. I didn't see it today. I would buy it back and forth. So driveway Did here. you come before us before about a fence because of dogs? Was that somebody in these three houses? We just no, no. discussed I, putting up a fence because they had dogs. I don't. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Um, I just moved there in February. So oh, February. yeah. Sure. Well, it could have been last year. Okay. Yeah, I remember that dog. Part. I have to admit, I'm still confused. Do you have a handle on this, Richard? Well, my confusion was the way this was sold to begin with, these three houses, it was a low rent district kind of, and this was one big lot. And you came in one driveway to service all three houses. So you had to keep it open so you could drive over to this third house. Is this something we should maybe? Um, have I think a, we should table this until we can. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he could show us. Have, we, have, could, have, well, have, we could take pictures, we bring them back the next time. Him. You say there's a driveway there. Yeah. Did you put it in? In the, in the application. Did you put this driveway in that you're talking yeah, about yeah, right here? Yeah. Yeah. When did when did you do that? Well, February. So. Like May, in June, April. April? Uh, yeah. Now are these subdivided in terms of uh, deeds? Is there a deed for this piece of property? No, so basically this property um, is See, I, um, one, the one driveway service all four houses is like, it's a condo basically. Right. So, so um, it's all one. So you gotta be careful with the fence so you don't restrict did you get, anything. Did you, get, um, did you get permission to put the driveway in? I came to the building department, they told me that they couldn't tell me not to go to the, um, the DPW. The guy came out, okay. um, there was a tree there, so he wanted yeah. to be able to go ahead to do it. Okay. Um, well, basically all my neighbors are sign up, sign up on, on it too because it's the end property, you know, no one. Okay, right. I think we, I, maybe we, I don't know what the proper procedure in terms of meeting Roje right. on the property, but. Is that something you ever do? Because oh. I don't get it and I would I, I have to walk it, but it seems like it'd be smarter to walk it with the person who's proposing. Right, change. right. Because as I say, from this picture where it says fence, yeah, I assume you wanted to put a fence and if your driveway is coming up here, then maybe this is an opening in the fence to park. Up is that what, you, what it is? So the, so your driveway is here now? Yeah, yeah, my driveway is there on the fence. What happened? These things got me confused. I thought I don't blame this fence was supposed to be here. This is where I'm going to be driving. Um, get it this, here. this fence, see this? Is a fence. Yeah. This little fence is across here. Yeah. And then this one goes quite a ways. It goes quite a bit in front of that. We should come visit. <laughs> it comes pretty far. See this? Yeah. It's a long way. I think what happened is the camera is from there. From here, so I can, I can from here it goes. Perspective. It goes all the way down here. 
like this thing now. And then he's got these trees he's put in. That's this guy. Yeah, these trees. And this had never gotten approved, this, this long one. Mm -hmm. There was going to be a fence like here with a gate, you know, to open up and then park here. Yeah, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. It was about four or five years ago when this came in to get approved, and that's the way we allowed it. And it was just a section here. But then instead, they didn't put up the gate. They put a fence all the way down to here. And what's your reason for if the fence? It's about the, um, so there's person, there's no, I guess you guys would have to come to see. Yeah. There's not really um, desirable small and easy mm. property, so sometimes um, cars are in the way too. But the, the, re the main reason why I did that is because I had the driveway, so I didn't think we'd lose that area. Yeah. Well, uh, I, propose that we table item 22-AO98 and um, schedule a site visit with the proposer, Roger, um, and Lisa will coordinate that. Is that, is that I can go anytime. Me too. Okay. Does she second it? She made a motion. Oh, I'll second it. Table. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so it's Aye. tabled, so Aye. but we need to coordinate. It, it means it's put off until we get to see it and then bring it back for a vote. Yep. Thank you. I'll reach out to you and I'll set up a time when they can come out and look at your place and we'll try to get it on the agenda for the meeting in two weeks. Okay, so between now yeah, and then we'll come up. No, nope, you're all set. I'll, I'll coordinate and find a time between now and then so they can check on it and then we'll get you on the agenda for next time and right. after they've had a chance to look at it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Okay, the next item is at 23 Willow Street is to replace six windows. Renewal by Anderson is the agent and Ann and John Hill are the homeowners. And I don't know if the Hills are here. I don't think so. I oh, have somebody zooming. An elderly couple. They were here about a year or so ago. Um, Do we have anybody um, on Zoom from Renewal by Anderson? Usually they are. Yeah, usually they are. You recognize any of those names, Lisa? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I think it says Diane, Emily. Oop, is somebody? Zoom host to everyone. Renew oh, he's pushing it out. Is anybody there? Emily, Greta, and Michael. Might be Mike. But no, I don't think anybody's coming forward. So should we table it though? to the end and yeah. try? Maybe they'll come back. So I move to table to the end of the meeting, I'll item twenty-two dash AO ninety-nine. I'll second. All in favor of tabling. Aye. 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 Okay. So the next item is concerning in installing 28 solar panels on front of rear roofs at 26 Stony Hill Drive. Ivanio Nival Nival Nino. Is that connect? Somebody's so smiling up here. <laughs> 
Sunrun Installation Services. That's usually Steve Kelly. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, Steve here. Anybody here for this one? Ah. Anybody from Sunrun on the Zoom? Greta M. Uh, Greta Massiello from Sunrun. Ah, good. Okay. So, so Greta, these uh, these uh, solar panels are completely in view on the front. Yes, they're the house is kind of on a kitty corner on two roads, um, so I they're kind of off the beaten path in a way, but it's on Matthews Lane and Stony Hill Drive. <sighs> Oh, this is a, for me, this is a tough one, but it's um, not as tough because yeah, the owner of this is a company. It's not a person. It's Sunrun will own the, the modules. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greta. That is correct. So it's a business proposal rather than a, a person's proposal. Yeah. Um, and normally, Greta, y y you can't have solar panels um, or changes. Um, like this visible um they everything need in the chain by way of changing to be minimally visible from the public way in this case because they're on the front of the house they are not minimally visible from stony hill drive and uh i defer um paula what you're thinking my thinking is uh, uh, to me it doesn't matter if it's a residence or a business it is what it is and i think um with so many abutters, unfortunately, nobody seems to be here, but um, I'm gonna hold to the rear just because there's one, two, with at least six people with an eye shot of the front of that house. Yeah, the only thing it's got going for it is the fact that there's solar panels on the house next door on the front of the house. Yes, that is on the side road, right? It's on, it's, it's on the side. Is that a dead end road? Yeah, it's a cul-de-sac. So I, I drove in there. I mean, there is a lot of, uh, a lot of trees in front, but they all look like they're deciduous, so they'll be yeah. gone in the winter. The other thing is that the front of the house has good orientation to the sun. The back, is that really the north side, solar north. And um, the efficiency on that back roof is gonna be about 17% lower than the front roof. So if I were buying them, I don't think I'd put solar panels on the back roof. If you're renting the space, then it would be better for the homeowner if you, if you put all of them on the back. So Greta, oftentimes one of the um, opportunities that can arise for a solar installation is to canvas the neighborhood. And as that has not been done, um, we, we often have letters of support uh, when you're in a, a cul-de-sac or a dead end from the neighbors um, because public way is limited when there's a cul-de-sac or, or a dead end, but there there are no letters of support from the neighbors here. So, you could also use the uh, the back of the smaller wing. Um, so you could you might be able to put sixteen on the back of the house and leave them off the front. There don't seem to be any on the uh, smaller section of that house. Right, but you, you could put uh, you could put some uh, four more. You could put at least uh, six on that. So, Greta, I think you know where we're going with this. Yeah, I can see if I can uh, send this back to see if we can have designed back just to the rear of the um, of the building and uh, hopefully get those uh, back to the committee for the next review, if that's possible. So you, we, you want us to table it? Yes, please. Okay, I move to table item number uh, uh, 22A100, 
on 28 Stoney, 26. Yeah, uh, Greta, you know, discuss that with them in terms of using the whole back roof. And um, you might want to up the voltage on them too, or the power. Um, but you should be able to optimize it to get as much power out of it as you can and just use the back. Okay. Good. Thanks, Greta. Thank you. The next item is to build an addition at 29 Greenland Circle. Joshua Kelly is the owner and he's here tonight. Great. <laughs> I can act on this one. It took me an hour to find your house. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I drove by it three times. Yeah, everybody does. <laughs> it's awesome I'm trying to get deliveries. You know? <laughs> Put a nice piece of plywood out there with a big 29 and an arrow. Exactly. <laughs> I also wasn't sure what side I was going to go on since you have the deck on one side and the chimney on the other. Yeah, uh, but yeah. you're going to build on the chimney side. Yeah, the chimney's, the chimney's coming down, as and you down. can see in the plans. And then that big deck is obviously, I'm going to cut that up and throw it in a dumpster. So <laughs> yeah, so it's going right right where the where you would drive up the driveway. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Coming right off of that. So oh, laid out with chalk. So. By just keeping it keeping it simple, just matching all the existing. It's just like the white vinyl siding and then the uh, white cedar shingles on the side and the back and we're gonna match the um, match the doors. Is that section going to be recessed? The door with the shingles that are a little different there. Yeah. So like yeah. the whole yeah. So the whole addition is going to be bumped uh, two mm -hmm. feet, okay. just so it's not. And then that sure. little section yeah. where the door is is going to be bumped in a little bit more. I think it's like seven feet total, just so there's a little entryway and. Uh, okay. You know, my kids don't get wet when it's raining when they. <laughs> <laughs> taking off their snow boots. It when it's raining. Yeah, right. I know they do. So that'll be a little bit gray and the rest of the house will be white? white? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, that, no, that, that'll be uh, shingles. Shingles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll match everything. Mm -hmm. The front is, is white. Yeah, and that's going to be white. Oh, so okay. We're just going to literally match everything. All right. Oh. Oops. Don't Good. It's probably Rob still trying to get around the tree. Yeah. <laughs> He's lost. <laughs> uh, well, I got no problem, anybody. I think it's going to be awesome. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I move to approve. I'll second. Oh, well, are you in a butter? Yeah. Oh, right. beg your pardon. We finally have an a butter, and we missed our cue. I didn't hear you call for the butter. We didn't. We didn't. Mm -hmm. it, this house is so far removed. I didn't think he had any butters, but anyway. I, I'm, I'm on a butter. <laughs> Can you hear me on the second? Yeah. I, I'm. We're we actually moved in in February. We're a direct butter to Josh in his house, and we wish him well. I don't have any objection. In, Where in are fact, you, I think, quite did, did frankly, you, I'm having something that might help clarify some things. I happen to be an architect, and I was curious about just some dimensions, you know, because of the drawing wasn't very particular about where it was. So I actually did a drawing. I went, and went on the assessor's plot website just to be sure we, we had our setbacks in and he has all of those. The only question I really had, and I think I scaled it correctly, it's two feet back from the front of the existing house. Right. What are the dimensions of the footprint of the foundation? They're not on any of the information and i do have drawings if you would footprint be. of what he wants to of do the, of the new foundation yeah yeah which it's, i didn't include because i thought it was you guys just asked for elevation so that's what i gave um, that's fine but yeah. can you can you inform yeah. him yeah yeah i believe it's 24 by 31 and a half yeah, so dimensions of that are going to be yeah 24 by 32 so yeah I will say. If Where you would, are you relative to this house? I, I will show you if you'd like. I have. Josh will give you this. Like a couple 
talking to you. Oh, I know, sure. I know where you are. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm familiar where your house is. We are directly. Okay, we wish you well to pass an addition. I just wanted to certainly have you. Yeah, people come and get so fill in information are, all the time. Yeah, as I knock down your things. <laughs> yes, we are here. Okay. He is here. Here's his addition. Okay. And just so you know, that's the 20 foot setback. Yeah. That's the six foot accessory setback. So he's well within it. I just was curious what yeah. the actual dimension is. Yeah, these are funny. Like it's shape what you all thought. That's exactly what we thought. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Great. So and we are here. It's yeah, a very weird little thing. He, he had made this up too, see, which yeah, so gives the distances. Done it. That's how I located this house. Yeah. yeah. I used his dimensions from these corners. Yep. And so he's actually at a perpendicular the 26 and a half feet back right. from us. Exactly. So whatever the dimensions of his house, if the, if they're within the parameters of what they should be, then so he's well within his house. All right. So yeah. you're okay with all of that then. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes things can seem closer than they are. And uh, right. absolutely, it is, we wish him well. It is a, it's a small house, so I'm sure he could use the additional space. That's awesome. Go. And he's got two kids. He certainly needs more additional space. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, all right, I move to approve. Second, if, if we didn't already Close do that. Favor. Aye. 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 Cool. Thank you. Excellent. You need to come up. Just you need sign. to sign something there. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's good to have everybody on the same page. Nice to meet you, Richard. You like rubber bands? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Always. Always. Oh, great. So if you sign it here, I'll sign it there, and I'll date it. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll put it with the screen. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate all that hard work. Thank you. I need something. Yep, you got it. Oh, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good luck, sir. Good, thanks. All set? Yep. yep. Awesome. All right. Have a great night. Enjoy. Great. Now we have nobody here. I'm a drive. So we don't uh, have anybody here, it looks like. And these are already done anyway. Some of those fabulous elastics. Oh, here you go. I need two. Two coming at you. Thank you.
Come uh, The next item is concerned with installing 11 solar panels on the side roof of 11 Macomber Drive. Diane Siegel is the owner and Skyline Solar is the agent. We've never- Diane. Diane's got her hand up. <laughs> Ready to go. You can speak, Diane. Hi. Now, Diane, you have about 19 solar panels now, I think. 15. Yeah. Yes. Um, when we purchased the house um, a year ago, it had the 19 or whatever numbers on there now. And we added air conditioning and heated the pool and things like that. So we're looking to add 11 panels on the side of the house. We own the whole cul-de-sac. I own the house across the street as well. So on the side that, that the panels are going to be added on mm -hmm. is totally owned by us on the cul-de-sac. We're the only ones that can see it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, I'm sorry. Um, Mike from Plymouth Sign Company, I'm on the agenda. I just want What'd to you say, it. Michael? Uh, Mike from Plymouth Sign Company, I'm at um, number nine. On the agenda, I don't know if you've gone to it yet. We're not. We've not. You're. You're. Uh, we have yeah. Diane ahead of you, and then you're up at that. All right. Very good. I just want to make sure you could hear me. I don't know what he said, but hang in there. So I don't understand where they go. Okay. Where they would go? Some are on the side on the side of the house, and then there's some on the shed that's adjacent. The chimney is. Next, next to the chimney. Yes. Yeah. On the upper upper roof. Just on the upper roof. Yes. Yeah. Will it be up here? I guess. Right. Yeah. It's not very visible. Certainly not as visible as the ones that are there. Right. Will you approve this one? Yeah. All right. I move to approve 22A A102. So we're not approving the ones that are already there. Is that, right. that that's history? Right. So she wants to put them on the back of that roof? Yeah. And where do you say you live relative to this house? Across the street. Um, I My primary house is at 10 Macomber Drive. Okay, did you move to approve? Mm -hmm. I'll second. All, right. okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Hey, Diane. Thank you. Do I need to come in and sign anything or anything? I know you've been having people sign. Yeah, I'll fill it out part way. And if you stop by, you can sign the other part. Lisa will be in touch, but you'll have to stop by. Okay, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. We still don't have anybody from Renewal by Anderson, do we? No. no. The hills. Okay. One. This yours? Must be.
still have Diane on Zoom. She knows she's done. Diane, you're done. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Now, this one last item is a sign to replace a sign at 477 Route 6A. <clears throat> Hannon is the owner and Plymouth Sign Company with the agent. Yes. We have Michael here. Mike, good. Hi, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Michael, are you replacing a sign or are you installing a new sign? I, I see. Yeah, we're, we're installing a new sign. Okay. Yes. So we're, we're, you can see on the rendering, it's uh, to the left of the front door. It's gonna, it's gonna be a two foot by three foot sign. And we're gonna put it on the same level as the one that's to the right of the door. So everything looks the same. I'll defer cause I'm not up to speed on the signs. It looks fine to me, but. I think since it's the uh, same uh, measurements as the one that's there already, Yes, that's uh, correct. Even though it's a different color, I don't know if there's any restraints on that. I wouldn't think so. Um, the um, material, the chip that's accompanying this, this blue chip. Yes. Is that a close? Yes, that's closer. That's their colors, yes. This is what it will look like. Yes, sir. It's kind of a bright blue. And it's semi-gloss. It is semi-gloss, correct, not gloss. That's not too bad. It'll fade. <laughs> like those fences will fade. <laughs> Oi. Oi vey. <laughs> I move to approve, unless you've got an issue, uh, Richard. Oh. Yeah, this is signed further down. Yes, it's in the same location, really, height wise. Yeah, right. The same, the same size. Same size. Correct. Yeah, next to the door there. Did you have to rent the blue car in order to make it? <laughs> no. Is this blue similar to the, the writing on that other sign? What what is other sign? The color blue is the logo on the sign to the right of the door? No, it's it's totally different. Yeah, these are their these are their corporate colors. Same as the the uh, sign to the right. Mm. Those are theirs. And what is this concierge TMS? I believe it's a doctor's office. Doctor's office? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I guess it's all right. I, I would think it would look better, I think, if it was white with blue letters similar to the other, but it might be stand out more this way. So the I think they're trying to match their logos and Letterheads and stuff. Yeah, correct. Oh, okay. So, so we, I can second then. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Mike. I just wanted to just just make one quick comment. I just want to thank. Uh, Lisa Sherman, what, what great help she was helping me set everything up and getting the application in. She, she was great to work with. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you. Is that uh, Lisa he's saying that about? God bless you. <laughs> Checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good night. You too. You too.
untable or well, item? yeah, we'll have to do that. I move to untable item 22-A099, Ann and John Hill. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to table 22-A099, Ann and John Hill to the next meeting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good. Now there are a couple of other things we have to do. For one, the uh, minutes of the last meeting were out and reviewed. Mm -hmm. Any further comments on that? Relative to what? The minutes. Minutes. All the minutes. Meeting. No. I, I move to approve the Aug, August 22nd minutes. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good. Okay. There's one thing came in today. You know, I get a lot of uh, exemptions that come through, which are uh, fairly simple, like. Um, putting cedar siding on a house for new shingles on the roof, and they're gonna be the same color. And so easy decisions. I got one today, which has to do with solar panels. Oh, and boy. <laughs> we, we had uh, approved of these at 105 Sisters Circle. That sounds familiar. Remember, Which is in the middle of nowhere. Here. We weren't here at the time. Oh, it was October last year. But, oh, okay. But there's other Sun Sister Circle. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It's a big circle, Sister Circle. Yeah. And this two story colonial uh, faces almost directly solar south. Really good exposure. And, um, Looking at the roof, it's a, I think a 45 degree, 12 inch pitch roof, but the house is up on a rise and standing in front of it, they wouldn't look bad at all. And it was black on black, they had a black roof and black solar panels. So they came in to put a 33 solar panels a la the 335 watt units that uh, Wolf, Solar Wolf was was doing. So that got approved and Solar Wolf went down the drain. And uh, so they came back and the arrangement of the solar panels on the roof is similar. And so certainly we uh, agreed on that before. This time is only 22, but there are bigger panels. So the ones, the 335s were smaller in both length and width. And uh, so these are more in keeping with more modern. And they're, um, I think they're 365. The paperwork that came with it, it would be someplace between 360 and 370. They make three models that are similar. So I put down 365. 22 of them would have given eight kilowatts versus 10 kilowatts on the previous design. <coughs> but they're again black on the black roof. So I th thought we could sign off on that. And what do you guys think? We already okayed it, right? With the 33? Yeah, we had. And Sister Circle is in the middle of nowhere facing Route 6, isn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. So, Okay with I it. think in this case, uh, we could approve it. I mean, if they had come in and they were going to put up a different arrangement and uh, maybe 40 panels and- And you'd say we're uh, yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <Blue>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there might be a question, okay. but this is close enough to the original, I think. And maybe in the future we'll get similar ones We'll be able to handle them you easily. Will. Yeah. I, I can fill you in a little bit on Solar Wolf, and it's not um, official, but the Solar Wolf 
volunteer the the soul rise yarmas volunteer team put out a letter last for the weekend that basically um notes that the the state is still confused as to what they should do but in the meantime they're trying to get all of the um, customers who've been hurt extensions on all of their applications. Mm -hmm. So these people obviously have gone out and gotten another solar installer, right. which is great. But a lot of people don't want to do that because some of the solar installers won't pick up Solar Wolf's work and others are going to charge more. And they're like, well, we already spent the bought the farm. Why are we going to now buy it again? And then lost the farm. Yeah. yeah. So it's co very complicated. At any rate, that's all I really had yeah. to add. Yeah. Well, so, okay, um, we can approve that Okay. as a, an exemption. Exemption, okay. Yeah, and they, they sent in all the uh, material, you know. Yes. So we, we're covered that way. Okay, all right. Okay, that's that. The other thing, um, the commission has set up a meeting at the Bonsable Firehouse uh, I guess it's West Bonstable, technically on Route 149 for next Tuesday. And um, I haven't got the agenda yet. I just, I think this morning, got a notice that the, the building is available to us. That room will be available. And the idea was to get all of our committee members from the towns together and have a discussion on, uh, well, we usually did about every two or three years, anyway. Of, uh, where we're all at, kind yeah, of Yeah, where we're all at. Huh. And then I assume that he also talked about uh, that thing that we were the, discussing. The exemption. The exemption yeah. category, you know. For solar. Yeah. So that's next Tuesday? Next Tuesday, I think it's the 22nd. And what's the time usually that you meet? So uh, 1 to 4. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually we meet at 1.30, but I'm pretty sure this was one, 1 to 4. I'd like to be there. Let's see what's going on. Next Tuesday is the uh, 20th. 20th. 1 to 4. I'm pretty sure. And it was where Tuesday. is this place located? 149. On 140 or on 6A at 149. No, on 149, it's close to the exit. Well, oh, if you go on the parkway and get off at 149, you just go south about 100 yards. Is near the school? No, there's a church there. Um, West, West Bonstable Church. Uh, and what is the it's a historic building? What is the building that we would be going to? Is it like Firehouse. a house? house on, on 149 okay okay one o'clock we're I thinking can, huh? i could do that yeah as soon as i get a more official thing what usually uh, when jim is getting the the room lined up and so on he sends me copies of that and then finally when it's all set he sends out the agenda so i expect maybe tomorrow i'll get that sounds good I think I can be there, so that's great for me. I'm glad I can be. As soon as we get all the information, we'll send it out to everybody. Okay. So they all know. Perfect. I'm, I'm delighted to hear that. Yeah, that should work okay. Okie dokie, Moki. Rob should be here any second. Any minute. I wasn't <laughs> kidding when I called him the late Bob Wilkins. <laughs> He fell asleep for one meeting, didn't he? Yes, yes, he did. He fell asleep. I, I can see that happening. I think he's probably still recovering from his party on uh, Friday or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. All righty. Okay. Move so, to adjourn. Ah, move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Second. Aye. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you.